Hey guys, I'm Hilicus. Welcome to a podcast from Lost and Found. Okay, today we're reviewing my new favourite game. Today I'm reviewing Trials HD. Trials Riders get ready to rock and roll! It's Monday night! Whoa! Okay, so Trials has been out for quite a while now. For some reason I've only just got around to playing it. But with the Xbox Live arcade games, I often they often get overlooked. I think I stick to mainstream games like Call of Duty and Halo and stuff, and um, I never really give these games a chance. But the problem with the mainstream games are they're often very, very competitive, and like you've got to be on your top form when you're playing Call of Duty or Halo. And you know, if you're a bit tired or you're just not playing too well one day, your friends get pretty annoyed with you quite quickly. So this week I've been pretty knackered. Um, I'm not actually very well today, so apologies for like the voice and um, I look pretty rough. But I just thought I'd film a podcast anyway. So this week I've been playing uh, Trials HD. I downloaded the demo off Xbox Live Arcade, which is free of course. And after playing it for like an hour, I was like, this game rocks. And um, instantly bought the whole thing. I think it's 1200 points, um, so it's not a lot. And downloaded the whole game. And this game's awesome, so I just wanted to do a quick review in case you've missed it as well. And um, and yeah, let's check it out. Okay, so if you haven't worked it out already, it's all about riding the trials bike. Now the game's really simple in that it's kind of a 2D style. All you're doing is racing across the course from left to right. There's no steering involved. The controls are right trigger is to accelerate, left trigger is to brake, and the left analog stick, you can either lean it left to push your weight onto the back of the bike, or lean it right to push your weight onto the front of the bike. So the course is made up of various jumps and gaps and explosions and things to get across in the shortest amount of time possible. In order to unlock new tracks, you're going to have to complete the current track and earn some medals. So you can either earn bronze, silver or gold. This is often based on time and also on how many times you bail. So in order to get gold, you normally have to do the track without falling off at all. If you do fall off, there are checkpoints throughout the track. So you can often restart from your last checkpoint in order to keep practicing that bit that you can't do over and over again until you get it perfect. Then go back to the beginning of the track and try and do the whole thing in one run. It's also based on time. So in order to get gold, not only are you going to have to do it without falling off, but you're going to have to beat a certain time. Gold can be quite a challenge. Um, Silver is normally achievable. Um, bronze you can sometimes get in the first run through. So you kind of practice each map, get used to it. Um, I keep saying map, it's really a track. Um, so you keep practicing each track and get used to all the different parts of it so you know what's going on. And then you know when to accelerate, when to brake, and how to shift your weight. That's really it. That's really the essence of the game. And that, what makes it such a beautiful game is that it's so easy to kind of get involved and yet it's so difficult to master. So it's all about timing those jumps. You can also put in a few back flips and front flips as well if you want. Some of the tracks also have some really kind of hidden explosions and different traps and tricks in order to get through. And um, so it's always worth exploring a little bit as well. It's a lot about physics, it's a lot about timing your jumps and shifting your weight properly so that you can clear the gaps and you can land in the right spots. And it's not always about racing through as fast as you can and because some of it requires specific skill in order to get across. I think overall what really makes this game impressive is the graphics. They've really taken time and, and putting in the detail in these things. And the explosions particularly are, um, are pretty impressive. So if you've got a HD TV as well and you're playing this on full blown HD, I think you'll be impressed with the effects that going on. They start you with only one bike. It's quite a beginner bike. So the engine's quite low powered and then and it's really good actually because it gives you a chance to kind of get used to the controls and make sure that you are fully in control of the bike. 
as you complete some of the harder tracks, you'll unlock new bikes. So the game gets a lot more involving and a lot more exciting when you can suddenly race a lot faster and, um, and you can get more flips and tricks in and stuff like that. Now the menus are quite simple, if you head in there you can customise some of the options here. You can choose the colour for things, so you can change the colour of your outfit and your helmet, and also the colour of your bike that you're riding. Unfortunately what you can't customise is the actual specification of your bike, so it won't perform any differently with different setups. Um, which is a little bit disappointing, they could have used that to kind of extend the game further, um, but it does mean that you have to earn that reward of unlocking a new bike in order to get a different experience. So, that's Trials HD. Highly recommend you jump onto Xbox Live now and download the demo of the game for free. Give it a try and see if it's your kind of game. If you're really enjoying it, download the full game. It's only 1200 points, which works out about 8 or 9 quid, something like that. And there's even expansion packs available, so if you're really enjoying it after that, you can kind of keep taking it further. It's such a simple game. What I've really enjoyed is like when friends come around and they don't really play video games, um, it's one of the games that they can just pick up and play straight away. The controls are so simple, they can just get involved and they feel like they can play it. Whereas when you try and teach them Halo or something, you know, they can't learn how to play in five minutes. They just run around looking at the floor all the time. So um, this is a really cool game that's kind of pick up and play, have lots of fun, don't take it too seriously, and, um, and just enjoy playing the game. The Lost and Found, in case you don't know yet, is an Xbox gaming website. If you head over to our site, which is www.thelostandfound.co.uk, you'll see that we've got a weekly video podcast where we do latest Xbox news and game reviews like this one. We also organise late night gaming sessions called the Red Eye Sessions, where we'll play Call of Duty or Halo 3 or something like that. If you sign up for a free membership on the site, you get your own Xbox gamer profile, which is a chance to kind of brag about your gamer score, um, and meet new gamers as well and find people playing the same games as you. With this you also get an embeddable gamer card which you can post onto other sites as well. Now our podcasts are sponsored by Caps for Sticks which are little rubber caps that fit on your analog sticks. These just provide extra grip when gaming um, and I really recommend using them. They're super cheap, they're like 99p and you can buy them from capsforsticks.com they sponsor our podcast, so we give away a free pair each week. So I'll announce the winner down at the bottom of the screen now. And if you want to stand a chance of winning a free pair and you're over 16, just comment your gamer tag underneath this video and we'll choose a winner at random and announce them next week. Okay guys, for latest news, head over to the website. And, and until next time, goodbye.